Meet Ethical Crack. My ultimate Iron Man is taking the game mode just a step further. Not only can I not use a bank, but I can't use any method of storage outside of my inventory. That means no looting bag, no death storage, no death piles, no stash units, and no player-owned house storage. To achieve my goals in this game mode, I will need to think and play very differently. In our last episode, Ethical Crack conquered Lunar Diplomacy and Dream Mentor and did so much skilling. This episode, our goal is simple but very exciting. Get the Rune Pouch upgrade from the Tombs of a Mascot. Had some prereqs, so we rescued a prince. There is a lot of gross running through a pyramid with failable agility obstacles. Ixthorin's done. Used almost all the rest of my death runes, killing the quest boss for contact was super easy. Still have half an inventory of food, and we're using our Keras for the diary task on the way back up. Contact. That means we have all of the requirements for Beneath Cursed Sands. Here we go. For Beneath Cursed Sands, the first real boss requires range, so we're setting up some ranged gear, and we just picked up an easy casket on the way. Wow, that's amazing! Oh look, there's the cosmic runes I needed to enchant. I can't do it while I'm equipping it. To enchant my amulet of power we now have back. Green dehyde chaps! In a 10,000 GP green dehyde body. For the final piece of gear we're going to set up with, we finished the Lumbridge and Draenor Easy Diaries so that we can get this thing, which can restore our run energy. Figured I'd just record a quick warning because there's an edit coming up uh, that I attempted and I have no idea how to make this work properly, but you'll, you'll get what I'm going for. Uh, yeah, you've been warned. Have fun. First fight in the quest, simply don't use overheads. This guy did a lot of damage to us and ruined some entire was definitely better than Bone Crossbow, but looks like we're probably gonna get it done. Probably. Probably. Any time now, please. Please. Scimitar go, there's not much more I can do here. Oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, I'm very unsure if this next boss fight is even possible with this gear. But, I mean, we're definitely not going to kill it now. It's time to go in and just see how it goes, see how plausible it is, if I'm going to need upgrades, if I'm going to need to change anything, and see how much damage we can do with this big old bow and crossbow. Let's give it a go. Alright, we are out of prayer points, so it's about time to tally. We did 150 out of 600 damage, that's a quarter of it with... Okay, there we go. That seems doable. I think I can do that. So the first thing we're going to do to set up for this fight is we're going to camp down in the Forthos dungeon, get some grubby keys to pick us up a range pot, because that's really going to help our damage output. The loot is... Uh, got a ranging pot. That's sick. All right, let's see if we can kill this dude to get through and unlock that bone burner, because that'd be nice to have if we're back here in the future, and I imagine we will be. It looks like it's not happening. We will try again next time. God damn, 10,000 Herblor XP. <laughs> That's a lot. Nice. Here we go. First real attempt. Let's pot up and send it. Oh, I've just taken the poison from the scarab, unfortunately. Oh, this one might hit me. Ow, yeah, we didn't kill it in time. Let's see if we can land another spec. Oh, we didn't. That's not good. Oh, nice to kill that one so quick. Get the dam back on. Oh, poison's ticked down to two, but we're also out of run energy. We're gonna be good at moving now. food going down. 
What's the chances we kill this? I'm not liking it, but it's really close. Oh, we hit a spec. That's really good. Oh, yes, we are gaming. Oh. oh, that feels so good. I'm happy with that. The next step is the final boss. This quest has been pretty awesome, actually. Really enjoyed it. But for that one, we're going to need to set up with melee. And that means we have to scrap all this gear. And because I'm scrapping it and I still have bone bolts left, we're just going to AFK its sand curbs a bit and get rid of these. For our melee setup, we need a whole lot of cash. And to get the cash, we're going to go back to Slayer. And for Slayer, we need some food. So, to some Temporos, let's see what we get. Seaweed. Delicious. Pike. Nice. I might actually use that, though. Wow, mackerel. Oh, more pike. Oh, this is huge. Oh, look at the gains. Wow. That's a lot of fishing bait. Alright, can get rid of that, can get rid of that, can get rid of that. This is our food supplies, seeing as we're going to be meleeing and we're going to need to be eating. And, I mean, we might as well just use up the planks in the house. XP is XP, right? And with this lap, we are out of water skins. We have some starter GP to get us some starter gear and jump back into that Slayer for a bit to make some money, polish off our setup, get some stats, and return to the final boss of Beneath Curse Sands. To complete our gear for starting some Slayer again, uh, we just need to get a Dragon Defender. Not for the first time, and probably not for the last time. Well, I did forget one thing for coming here, uh, nature runes. I might be done with money making by the time I get a dragon defender with what these are dropping. They're insane. We are out of tokens, so need to leave. Uh, we've been a little bit dry here, unfortunately, and there's 65 attack. Time to drain some defense some more. Well, I was just looking at stuff and realized I could complete Tears of Guthix, so uh, there it is. Tears of Guthix. And this is kind of gross. Uh, look away if you're squeamish, because this is about to go into fishing. Before going in, we were at 39 fishing. And afterwards... 41, two levels, that's sick. I, I mean, I know fishing gross, but that is really nice. Oh, there it is. Oh, shit. Uh... We got it! Yeah! We also got basically all the money we need, so we don't actually need to do Slayer for money anymore. Uh, let's go pick up some of the things. We need to go get our rune legs, and we need to figure out a way we're going to get a diamond so we can get that dragon long sword and probably a DDS too. There's our diamond. I've decided I'm not going to go for a DDS. I don't think it's worth the inventory spot. Dragon long spec's going to have to do. Got a cooking level coming in. Just using up all the... Oh, I've ruined it. Just using up the supplies I had because we're not going to be bringing them any further. Alright, we're semi-fully kitted out, but to do the end boss, I kind of want super pots. So I'm going to go hit up some grubby chest, and to do that, I'm going to try kill that beast again, now that I've got way better gear. Alright, we'll go and dump our specs. Nice, that's done heaps of damage. We're going to take off our plate gear, because we're about to be maged, and we don't want to be tanking with that on. And we just see how this goes. Uh, seeing as it's like half health and I haven't eaten, I imagine this is going to go pretty well. Look, I can red click him. Can I eat while red clicking him? Yeah. Oh, I'm so good. Whew, that 
that thing does some dam. Oh, don't get comboed, please. Uh, uh, don't kill me. Ah. Uh, well, that was unfortunate. <laughs> we'll try it again at some point. So for now, we're going to get some crappy keys, sort out our inventory, and do the end boss of Beneath Cursed Sands. Based on the XP rates I'm getting here are these two baby red dragons. I can expect a grubby key in about 40 minutes ballpark. And I can expect I'm going to need three of them to get my super set. So in just under two hours, hopefully, we'll have our inventory of supplies ready. I have just realized dying deleted my lunar staff. I guess I'm not using fairy rings for a while then. Oh god, how am I getting to raids then? This is gross. I have not been lucky on getting a grubby key yet, and I'm getting impatient. I haven't attempted this fight yet, so I really don't know how realistic it is. I'm just gonna go get regular pots, sort out my inventory, and go with that. We go big old potato and cheeses, couple of prayer pots, and normal attack and strength. I'm sure we'll be, a f we'll be fine, right? Here we go, let's see how it goes. We're gonna use one spec at the start, and then we're gonna be using one spec on each shadow that joins in to make sure we kill them off nice and fast. Just make sure we're dodging the lightning, and we should be all good. I believe it's starting. Hello, friend. Well, we didn't kill that very fast, did we? <laughs> right, let's go get our stuff and we'll give it one more go, seeing as like all our supplies are still there. If we don't manage to get it this time though, yeah, I'll go, I'll go get my super pots. And maybe a DDS, that would be really nice for killing that shadow. Ooh, we just took another shadow. Alright, nope, I don't want to take that hit. <laughs> Yeah, that's not doable with, without the super pots, definitely. We'll try it with super pots, but I think I might even need something else. Maybe we need to upgrade our gloves. Maybe we need to get a berserker helm, glory, maybe go to a fortic weapon. We'll have a look. Oh, look at that. That's weapon poison plus. I can put that on the DDS I'm going to buy. It's not going to be useful in the slightest because everything I'm going to fight is going to be immune to poison, so uh, it just makes it look kind of green, and that's nice. Ooh, there's 65 defense. Alright, let's go loot this grubby key we've got. Super set, please and thank you. Not quite. We've got a super defense, though. I'll hold on to that. And oh my god, 200 blood runes? That's 200 elks. Sorry. We are back for a third attempt, and this time we're just going to cheese it by chugging prayer pots. Because I'm pretty sure you can do that. Uh, let's see. Okay, that was easy. Let's go unlock this bone burner. So please tell me that once I go through this way I can come back. The door is locked. A lever. Uh, a lever. Right, yeah, that looks like it'll be good. Alright, we're ditching spiders for a bit. Let's do some baby dragons. 66 magic, meaning I can go into the wizard's guild. We're gonna have to do hand in the sand at some point so we can access the store there. And now there are only 11 magic levels left to go until our big magic goal, which is 77, so I can use super glass make to train my crafting at charters and get up to 75 for making the new room pouch. Look at that NPC aggression timer means it's not gonna reset. That's beautiful. And we can use all our baby dragon bones on here for zero XP because the first hundred get wasted. But I expecting I'm gonna use many hundreds, so it's gonna pay back in the end. This seems like an amazing place for this account. I'm gonna get so many good supplies, like those blood runes were nuts. I can come here for like my pots and things. It's good training. 
it'll be good prayer experience. It's just all around really good for this account at the moment. I think I'll spend a fair bit of time in the fourth host dungeon. Oh my god, super set and 200 law runes. That is just gorgeous. Holy shit. Alright, let's get rid of those. What does our next loot have? Yeah. We are done with grubby chest. Let's go deal with all our shit and set up to try this with super pots one more time. I imagine I'll take less than a karambuan of desert heat running to the boss fight. So I'm not going to bring water skins. Let's see how this goes. I've killed the shadows so far, but DDS is out of specs. Go super pots. Oh, that's bad. It's not dying. I might need a combo eat. Oh, we got it. It's fine. But we are going to combo eat nonetheless. Alright, last one we're going to kill. After this, we just full send boss. enough damage to full send boss. I think I'd need to kill one more if it spawns. Yeah, it spawned one. Alright, we're gonna have to do this one. Oh, double zero. It's a really bad time for a double zero. really close. Well, still got another set of super pots. We can try again. Our tankiness didn't help in the slightest. So let's get a... Oh, that's worth quite a lot more than I thought it was. Uh, can I afford it if I elk this? Hmm, <laughs> AK short, no. Uh, do I just elk the rune legs and buy them back? Yeah, I'm just gonna elk the rune legs and buy them back. I know it's value. Alright, that's an extra three melee strength obtained. We need to resort up our inventory. I would like some things to combo eat with, something that heals more than a current one. So we're going to do a few more groovy chests again. Maybe restock our pots too, and earn enough money back to refill our cash stack to get our plate legs. I have some other things that might be on the cards too before we go back in to try that again, but it was pretty close, so I shouldn't need too much. Good thing about that fight is I know I'm really close to finishing it now. I was correct that bringing a water skin was not worth it. We only took eight damage from Desert Heat, and we had an 18 health current one in our inventory. Also, we had the correct amount of prayer pots. Three prayer pots is definitely right to bring in. Oh, hello, friend. No, I didn't want one of those. Uh, can I buy some armor? Yeah. Oh, initiate? I don't have... Pros what's Prospector? I think I might have a quest to do. Wait, not Prospector. You know the one I mean. I figured, seeing as I didn't tank any hits during that last fight, it was all just constant damage on me, that the tank armor's not worth it, so I'm going to swap the legs out for Prozzy. See, slug completed for 7,000 fishing XP. Any levels? 42. Oh, hello, friend. Look at his fish face. He looks a little worse for wear, to be honest. Oh, and what's this sluggy boy? Wrecked. Ew. Oh, it's another one, but it's grabbed a lady. <laughs> All right, there we go. Slug men is done. We can actually buy that prospect now. Can I buy some armor, please? Yeah, I want those. <laughs> it looks so funny. Ah, we massacred some chicken. We caught the big chumbly flap flaps. Scratch a glug we freed from the cholera romance's evil curse. And there's the cake of guidance to free the lumbridge guide. And upgrade my black gloves to adamant gloves. And more strength bonus from the helm. You will now gain prayer XP from the bone burner. Hell yes. 
Oh, 90 per. That's beautiful. With this last bone, we get 50 prayer, which is awesome. We can now go also use the temple key we got from sacrificing bones to unlock the rest of the dungeon and open our grubby keys. So our upgrades since last time. We have more prayer on the legs, but less tank. More strength bonus on the helm, but less tank. Uh, more everything on the gloves, which is really nice. I used all my nature runes and dropped my fire rune, so I've got two extra wham bams. I like my chances. Oh, I just got hit by some lightning. I'm like mega fucked. Oh my god, don't go shadowy. Nope, screen's going dark. That's a teleport out from 115 HP. And now I'm out of super pots. That's okay, I've planned some more things. Um, that was me playing badly that attempt for sure. Figured while we go to set up, might as well be training some mage. So let's buy some rune arrows. I couldn't afford nature runes for all of them. But these are a 240 elk each. So this is profitable elking just for fun while we're here rather than dropping the egg potatoes uh, oh we also got 200 blood runes again that's going to be even more elks we're going to go just kill one seragnus because why not hell yeah final hit not quite one more come on you can finish him off get him yeah 1kc seragnus all right that's all we're going to be doing there <laughs> back to getting supplies that was fun those on the ground are two hard clue scrolls with steps that I can actually do. I don't think there's anything I actually want from hard clues. I can't think of a single thing I would use. Maybe Amulet of Glory T. Uh, that's a bit, you know, that's a bit wishful thinking. But, you know, what if we just do one because it's fun? Three steps done and we have a doable fourth step. It is super gross. But you know what, there's nothing on this account at the moment that we can't afford to get back, so we're just going to go risk it and go do that. Well, it wasn't the casket, but I got another doable step. I believe this is a 50-50 at a casket. Oh, I have to do the thing. Oh my god, we got one. Usually at this point on an Iron Man, like, I really want an MSB and Black Dehyde, but I wouldn't use either of those. Uh, everything, basically everything's just an elk. It'd be kind of sad if we get a good unique, because we c can't hold it. Uh, well, let's see. Oh my god, what the fuck. Full black dehyde. Well, that loot's gorgeous, but... Oh. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> And black dehyde. Uh... Oh look, random Fremenic Isles. Yeah, I wanted to get another upgrade. So we get some extra prayer bonus, a little bit of extra tank. Oh look, we got the blue pet recolor. Uh, yeah, we ain't gonna be getting the pet for it though, so goodbye. Just a touch of AFKing, and that brings us... Oh, I thought that attack would get it. 4 XP? No, a little bit more. 80, 70 attack, nice. Combat level 90. Alright, let's chuck on defense. These locks are one of the best quality of life improvements for finishing off this last quest boss because it finishes us. Da, 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 da. One small favor. And these antique lamps give us. Oh, that's so much XP. 54 herb lore. I can clean qualms. And 55 herb lore. I can make super strength pots, so I don't need to get them as drops anymore. I can just make them. So let's go make some pots. We've already got our sharks from the grubby chest and set up and go back in for our third real attempt, I think. Oh, and there's our it finally. We were almost out of inventory space because we got eight ranars before a single erit. That went pretty well. We're uh, potted up and going in for attempt three. Oh, it's underneath them. Gross. Pull them out this way. Spear column. Nice. Oh, and we're playing well. Don't make me eat those words. Good reactions. Please kill it. Oh no, don't don't change. Oh 
Okay, that was freaky. We're gonna try to finish it off, not gonna go for shadows. Good spec. Yeah, we got this, come on. Beautiful. Oh, come on, one more hit. Screen darkens, we got a combo eat. Yeah! Oh, that feels good. Fuck yes. And there is the quest reward. Oh, that quest feels so good to have done. That was so much fun on this account. I really enjoyed that. And I got 63 agility. And I got the Karis Partisan. <laughs> we would definitely bring that thing into raids. It might even just be an upgrade just for everywhere. I'm really not sure. Alright, Kefri down with no supplies used. Happy days. Oh yeah, I'm speed. We have nailed it. And stab a crocodile. Yeah. Here we go, here we go. Bone crossbow versus Zebak. We spec. Defense reduction, yeah. Oh, we're doing some damn. Okay, here we go. We got our first maze. Ugh, push it really far. Die, croc. Hey, <laughs> all right. Two bosses down. No supplies used. Big mage spells. And it looks like we're coming to the end of Monkey Room. I only used three whole death runes. Alright, here come boulders. Okay, soon. Seven? Oh, I'm doing so much damn. Oh, please, please don't be a three down. No, 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 no. Do damn. No! Go, bone crossbow defense reduction. Yeah! Alright, it's time to play snooker. Oh, it's not quite time to play snooker. That's really annoying. Oh, defense level. I left two lobsters on the ground. No! I'm actually going to take power. I can afford to get a spec juice. Alright, pella down. Put on the awesome mage gear. Here we go, it's time for the big specs. Do my enormous melee switch. gonna get a three down here as well unless no okay here goes the chill phase apparently if I can actually click all right here we go last phase is coming any more prayer in my sack? I think I just have salts left. Gross. White potion for prayer. Oh, we are gaming. Yeah. 
Hell yes. Good luck. We got six. Oh my god. No, there's no. That's not possible. That's a 1kc purple. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> No, 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 that's not that's not real. <laughs> oh, there is some murder coming. Oh damn, that's some expensive loot you got though. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's gross. That's gross. It's gross. It's gross. It's gross. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Well, you best ring. <laughs> oh, can't go in yet. I need to claim XP lamp from friends. How do we do it? All oh, right, we got an antique lamp to put on. Considering ranged defense or magic. I need 77 magic so I can do super glass make so I can put the thread on when I get it. Oh my god, that's 50,000? What the fuck? Okay, 68 mage. Hell yes. Alright, light bearer on this boss means I'm going to get spec back more often and I'm going to get all the bone crossbow defense reductions. Just like three quarters health and I get another spec. Here it comes. Pew! Oh, big 13 defense reduction. Alright, third spec is coming up. Here we go, what do we hit? Ah, uh, I'm fucking missed. Gross. Oh, it's possible if we hit high. Go 72 mining. Go 70. I'm not rolling high. Come on. One more. No! Oh my god, it's so low. Big specs on the shadow. Oh my god, we're pumping. Big defense reduction, go. Oh, big defense reduction, 14. Does the light bearer get us a two down? It's gonna be close. Please. One more hit, one more hit. Get up. Yeah! Go down. Come on, back to back. Back to back, back to back. Two. Ah. Uh. So that's battle starves that I elk for 21k, that's not bad. It's gonna cover some death runes. And then potato cactus, which I drop. And Lily of the Sands, which is definitely a drop. Cool, I mean I'm ready to go back in there. <laughs> I don't have <laughs> banking is a different sort of thing for me. It's uh you don't Yes. Oh, thank God. The crazy butterfly. Oh my God, it's so good. Oh, <laughs> it's a. Ma this is a moth. This is. Oh, huge 65 range Rumaka. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's okay. Three KC. Good luck to you. of runes it is 1828 blood runes holy shit I can't cast the fire blood spell yet but I could get an earth staff and do the earth blood spell so you might have seen it in my inventory in the raids uh, yeah I picked up a dragon harpoon I went to Temporos to pick up some food to bring in, just looted like five permits. 
got a dragon harpoon. I'm gonna drop it off soon, but just waiting on a, a main with membership of a friend to uh, send that over to the big old grand exchange. But a uh, collection log slot completed. And oh my god, we're so lucky today. What the fuck? All right, buying a water staff so that I can use water blood spells and we can get some XP from these blood runes. Oh, 70 defense. Nice. Six rings of wealth for big elks. 10,000 GP elk each. That is gorgeous. Ow. Yeah, zero prayer crocodile. Uh, oops, I was too excited. Well, there it is. One of the big goals we were setting out for. The upgraded rune pouch has been acquired. S sort of. We haven't actually made it yet, but we'll go make it shortly. Uh, this video is quite long enough. We're getting to Tombs of a Mascot, clearing the Tombs of a Mascot, getting a 1kc purple on like a 60 invocation raid. This whole thing has been nuts. We even got a random dragon harpoon in there. Anyway, to see where we go next. Send me a subscribe if you got this far. It would be much appreciated, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day. Catch you later.